What's up guys? Thanks for watching these poise tutorials. Um, in this one we're going to learn how to chop a melodic sample that has a bunch of different pieces in it, like a long melodic sample, say like a seven or eight second uh, riff, and we want to just chop it across like three or four different pads so we can play it the way we want instead of using the loop as is. So the library that I'm using is uh, called On The Roads, which I bought years ago from a company called GeForce Media or whatever. A lot of good Rhodes licks. I uh, love the Fender Rhodes. It's probably my favorite musical instrument of all time. So basically, I got a loop ready. We're going to chop it across several different poise pads, and we're going to play it the way we like instead of using the loop as is. We're going to chop it up, and we're going to play it the way we want. All right, so here is what it sounds like. And then another one that fits, which we're also going to chop, is this. Very similar, but it, but uh, the first one has like little kind of decorations. You can hear like the notes kind of blend in a little bit. So we're going to put that right here, and we're going to put this one right here. All right. Easiest way to do this is we're just going to first put all of these, we're going to highlight all these cells and whatever, it's just playing because it's, it's set to one shot. And we're going to set the choke group to one or the cut by group, cut group, you know, in poise, but the same thing as a choke group. So basically all these are going to cut each other off, which is exactly what we want. So here's the first one. So obviously that's that that's an acidized loop. If you if you bring it into your DAW, it'll you know loop perfectly, you know, aligned with your ruler. But we don't really want to do that, like I said, because we want to be a little original. We want to kind of well as original as you can be with sampling. <laughs> um, so we we just want to chop it up and play it the way we want and kind of give it a little fresh spin. All right. So all we do is we're gonna copy each. Actually, you know what? Easier way to do this is to let's see. So we're gonna chop this first one. So obviously it's four different chords. So we're gonna use our MIDI controller, which we mapped in a previous video, and we're gonna set the sample end to right after the uh, the first chord. So when we trigger the pad, we're only getting that as a one shot, okay? Once we're done with this, we control click to the left, drag it over. It's basically just like duplicate and machine. If any of you guys have done hip hop sampling or, or chopping, you know, with machine, same, same idea, just as fast. You know, you just control click, drag. So here's the second one, which is identical to the first. So all we gotta do is set the sample start to where the end was on the first one. And then we're going to set the sample end to there. That sounds pretty good. Maybe back a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit late on the beginning, so we'll kind of come in a little. There we go. Okay. And once we do that, we left or we can we hold control, we left click drag to the next cell. And you can see it's the same as what we did before. So we set the sample start to where the end was. Set the end to the next transient, pretty much. And sounds good. And we're going to click and drag this over. Look how fast this is. It's a piece of cake with poise. And we're going to leave that little piece. We're going to take that long one. All right, so basically, the original loop was basically more or less like this. You know, whatever. So now we could chop it to our liking, and we could do, create like our own groove. So I'll just I'll just beatbox like a stupid you know beat real quick. The 
get the idea. So basically, we just took that acidized, royalty-free loop, and we just chopped it across four different pads. It was quick as hell, and we're going to do the same thing with this one right here. But we're going to change the pitch, because this one is basically in the same key. So we're going to take this, and we're going to, we're going to raise that pitch up a fourth, which is five semitones, okay, perfect fourth. And now it sounds like this. Now it's a little fast, but that's what happens when you pitch, pitch something up and when you don't time stretch it. It's old school. I, I don't really care. So what we're going to do is we're just going to chop each of these. So we're going to set that right there. Okay, and then we're going to copy it over. We're going to sample start, you know, whatever. Mess it around as long as we get it. Cool. And we're going to move that over. Same way we did before. Control, left click, drag. Scooting over. Chopping this piece. And then this last one obviously doesn't have anything on it. I hit it before I copied and pasted. And we're going to move this. We're going to skip that little piece and just kind of use the final one. Set the start a little bit. Use my MIDI controller to set those start and end points. Okay. Okay, so now the bottom row is the original key. And basically, you could even use these in faster contexts. Like, the beat doesn't have to be the original speed of the loop, which happens to be 85 BPM. Because, you know, if, if I'm beatboxing a faster loop, not too fast, but say like 100, like... To get the idea and then that now since I pitched this row up uh, by a perfect fourth they're obviously faster but they also don't have that fancy articulation at the beginning like that one it's kind of doing like a blue blue he's like hit, he's like doing like a, a quick little blues kind of thing with the keyboard there it's like blue blue you know now these are just simple chords without any uh, decoration so this could be really played at any speed. So if our again, if our project tempo is 100 or 110 or whatever, So it's just really easy. So it's sometimes it's a lot of fun to take uh, an acidized royalty-free loop and you know just kind of chop it up across four pads because people have done this forever with uh, the MPC style workflow. But it's it's just so fast and poised. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the timer on this video uh, screencast and I basically just reached nine minutes and it's probably going to be shorter with my edits. Um, so. You know, I mean, it, it, it takes that little amount of time to create four different chops from like a seven second sample or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. All right, see how that's kind of like, we could kind of get a few different chops from that. So, all right, if we zoom out. Actually, yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's kind of, you know, it's, let's hear it again. All right, so we're just going to, we're going to highlight this row of poise. We're going to set it to choke group two so it doesn't interfere with uh, the ones that we did on the bottom. And I'm just going to chop this. So I'm going to grab that first piece. So it's got the little notes at the end. Oh, there we go. Yeah, perfect. So we'll copy that over, and we will now chop the second half. 
It's a little bit different. So it's that easy. And then now, now say if I want to use these two just pitched maybe like a whole step higher. So we're going to use the same loops. Oops, I think I'd copy the same one. Not a big deal. Just copy this one over. Okay, so these first two are going to be in the original key. And then these next two, I'm going to make them a whole step higher. Okay, so basically... So if I want, I can make a beat like that. You know, I could I, I got my drum loop set like in my software, my DAW, or I could you know have a tap in my own beat, however you want to do it. You know, um, so basically, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's that easy. You know, I'm not saying that the song's a masterpiece at all. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's that easy to take, you know, a, a rhythmic or melodic sample and chop it across just by using, you know, control, left click, drag, and, you know, making sure it's in a choke group, setting your sample start and end points, you know, with your MIDI controller. That's one, one huge thing I love about Poise. So say we don't like these at all, say those riffs aren't that good, whatever, you know, we'll just find something else. That's kind of simple. Oh, that's cool. That's long. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So we'll take this, you know, we'll obviously put it into the that one cell, and here's the whole sample again. Cool. This will be great to chop. Highlight this row. Set it to choke group 2 because, again, the bottom row is in its own choke group. So we're going to just chop it up. Nice little first chord there. Copy, paste it over. And then kick this. A little bit late in the beginning. So let's see. Had the sample start and end backwards. Sometimes that happens with poise. Not a big deal, though. There we go. So we got the two chops. Copy this one over. And... A little bit late. A little bit or soon and late. There we go. And the final chop. Just all these things happen to have four different transients, four different chords in it, which is convenient. And there we go. There we go. So basically we took that long sample called uh, Resolution, and we just kind of set it to choke groups, and it's, it's that easy, man. And these, these cells happen to be voice mode mono, which I think is the default when you start a new kit. I think everything's voice mode mono and play mode one shot. I'm pretty sure. Because um, it was when I started a new kit. But, uh, but anyway, easy breezy, man. We just. So now we can play this to our liking. So if we got our loop kicking. You know what I mean? That easy. So again, I'm a huge supporter of Poise. I love it for making hip hop, and you should too. So pick it up, $50, onesmallclue.com. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and spread this video if you are a hip hop beat maker and if you love to watch people make beat videos and <laughs> on MPCs or machine or the Akai MP, MPC Ren or the studio, you know, however people want to work, 
It's fun to watch this shit, but this is just yet another way that you can make beats. So, again, poise, one small clue dot com.